In 1967, Abdirashid A. Shamarke won the Somali presidential elections. The first president of Somalia, Aden Abdul, gracefully accepted defeat and stepped down. The successful transfer of power between the two presidents was hailed across the continent and the world as a victory for African democracy. In the 1960s, at the height of the Cold War, the Somali Republic was a founding member of the Non-Aligned Movement. Somalia, however, was too strategically important for it to be ignored by the two superpowers. The United States, under President John F. Kennedy, steadily managed to bring Somalia to its side as an ally. Separated as we are by geography and history, we also uh, find a sense of kinship to uh, your government, which in its separation of powers between the executive and the legislature and the judiciary bear a uh, resemblance to the balance of powers which we have felt in this country best ensures the liberty of the individual. We are particularly heartened to have you visit us. Prime Minister, you're welcome. It was a growing relationship the Soviet Union could not accept. In 1968, President Charmarque narrowly escaped an assassination attempt. A grenade exploded near the car that was transporting him back from the airport, but failed to kill him. Though there was a growing conspiracy against his presidency and the democratic institutions of the country, President Charmarque embarked on a tour across the northern regions of the country in the grip of a drought. His intelligence officers advised him to not go on a country tour, citing the clear threat against his life. But the president replied, I want to experience the difficulties of my people. If I don't travel there, then I feel that I have betrayed my people and my country. During an official visit to the northern town of Lassanad, President Charmarque was shot dead by his bodyguard. The news came as a shock to the Somali people, who were unaccustomed to political instability. Observers at the time suggested the assassination was inspired by personal rather than political motives. Five days of mourning was declared across the Somali Republic. A day after the state funeral for the president, the Somali armed forces staged a peaceful coup. The coup was led by a Somali general who had graduated from the Frunze Military Academy in Moscow, an elite Soviet institution reserved only for the most qualified officers of the Warsaw Pact armies and their allies. Under the new military government, Somalia became the first country in Africa to establish a strategic friendship treaty with the Soviet Union and was henceforth led by a military junta practicing scientific socialism. The continuity of civilian-led governments in the Somali Republic had been permanently severed. The 1967 elections would be the last national one-person, one-vote elections in Somalia. The scheduled elections in 2021 will be the first in 54 years. <laughs>